Welcome to a whirlwind tour of the human-powered Knox experience. Now, I always say it's a whirlwind tour because I talk very quickly through this information session. It's human-powered because human-powered is the thing that's printed on everything that you'll get from Knox. All of the things behind me say human-powered on them. The way I like to think about human-powered is very much people making things happen, right? Every piece of the puzzle changes the picture. Every part of the machine changes the way the machine works. If you're in an ensemble, every member of that ensemble changes the way you sound or you perform. If you're on a sports team, every member of your team changes the way you play. So that's the human-powered Knox experience. Let's take a look at it. I'm Joyce Hall, Assistant Director of Admission at Knox. As an admission counselor here, it's my role to serve as your resource as you explore our community. My name is Sarah Colangelo. I work in the admission office here at Knox. That's my email address. You can also reach me via text, via phone, any way at all. The entire admission staff is here to help. It doesn't matter who you talk to. We're all here to help you through your college search, whether or not Knox is where you land. But you did not come here to learn about me. You came here to learn about Knox. We'll talk about Knox's mission in three formats. First is the Knox mission statement. Knox is a community of individuals from diverse backgrounds, challenging each other to explore, understand, and improve ourselves, our society, and our world. That's part of Knox's mission statement. That's a mission statement that goes on for paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs, but another word that occurs in that mission statement is the word egalitarian. Do you know what egalitarian means? good for you. Basically, it's the same idea as human powered, right? Everybody has a voice. Everybody's voice matters. Every part of the whole makes the whole what it is. Next, as an inspirational quote, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Margaret Mead said that. She did not go to Knox, but she was an anthropologist. So if anybody knew about people, it was Margaret Mead. This quote, I think, really encapsulates what Knox is all about. People support each other. Regardless of how much they understand each other's projects, they are there for each other. They're interested. They want to know more. They're curious. And lastly, as an instruction, which is dream big, which looks really good in a giant font up here on our big board. Dream big is great. I love dream big. Who doesn't love dream big? When I first started working at Knox, one of the brochures that we used to send folks in the mail had a picture of a professor next to a student and there was a pull quote and the pull quote said, that might just work. To me, that's the same thing as dream big. And I think it's a little bit more illustrative of what Knox does, right? Folks here are going to support you. They're gonna say, that's a good idea, or that is an idea. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. If we make a mistake, we learn from it. If we do well, we learn from that too. I like to think of this whole presentation as very interdisciplinary. We want you to get an understanding of who we are here at Knox. So we'll start with a history lesson. Knox was founded in 1837 by a group of abolitionists who came out here from New York State. We were one of the first institutions to educate women and people of color in the then United States and the first in the state of Illinois. And lastly, this is the site of the fifth Lincoln Douglas debate in 1858, a place that Abraham Lincoln denounced the immorality of slavery. Now we're going to look at Knox by the numbers. We're going to use a little bit of math. So Knox is a college of about 1,200 students. That means your classes are usually between 10 and 20 people. Our students come from 45 states and 49 countries. 32% of our domestic students identify as people of color and about 19% international students. We are in the top 25 most diverse 
diverse colleges in the United States, and we're strong believers that that's one of the things that makes us who we are. And what that looks like in a visual sense is right here. Use this map as a way to think about what your full first year class at Knox might look like, right? These are the folks who are going to be in your classes, who will be in the cafeteria with you, who will be in clubs with you, who will live in your dorm with you. Ultimately, what makes this environment the dynamic and engaging place that it is, is that our students are really interested in dialogue and in learning from one another. We're strong believers that as an individual, you have the most to learn from someone who's the least like you. One of our campus philosophies is, is focusing on creating opportunities to get students who are different from one another in the same space to learn and grow. And they're coming from all over the place. What this map can't show you, things like economic diversity, right? Social and cultural diversity, things like just differences of opinion that exist on campus. What you can expect to do here, first of all, you will probably want to major or minor in something. We have over 60 areas of study on campus. You can see anything purple and underlined is relatively new to us at Knox. I point this out because Knox is a very reactive place. When students are interested in things, faculty respond. When faculty are interested in things, they ask their students if they are interested in those things. And so you do see new majors, new minors, new classes coming up based on student interest, based on popular interest, based on what folks are talking about. Everything with a plus sign behind it allows students to choose between a Bachelor's of Arts or a Bachelor's of Science in that particular area. At Knox, students take three classes at a time. Right, three classes at a time and there are three terms per year. So that's nine classes a year. Nine times four years is about 36 classes overall. It takes between 10 and 14 courses to finish off a major at Knox. So out of those 36, it's just one chunk, right? So you've got lots of time to take other things, to try new stuff, to sort of explore, to chase rabbits and explore different areas of interest. And what that means ultimately is that a Bachelor's of Arts on our campus has an average of 11 classes in it, whereas a Bachelor's of Science has an average of 14 or 15 classes. We also have seven areas of study on campus that students are required to take. And what that means is we have a no one size fits all approach on our campus. There's no single class on campus that every student takes. And we're strong believers that Every class a student takes should add value to you as an individual, and therefore the students should have the agency to choose what that looks like for them. Pre-professional and other programs, these are sort of exactly what they sound like. We have a number of programs on campus to support students as they prepare for careers beyond Knox. Knox does have a few partnership programs with different institutions in things like business engineering, all the way down to optometry. You will be advised by a faculty advisor for those programs. Knox also has programs like college honors. The opportunity for students to do a a graduate level dissertation at the undergraduate level. Our Peace Corps Preparatory Program was the first in the nation and it prepares students who are interested in service-based careers. We also have coursework in the area of sports studies for students who are interested and additionally we are certified by the state of Illinois to provide preparation for teachers. Experiential learning, learning by doing, right? You cannot graduate from Knox if you just sit in a classroom for four years. You've got to get out there and do things. So there are a few ways to do experiential learning. First, research and creative work. Knox takes research and creative work seriously. About 89% of students at Knox will complete some sort of research project or independent creative project before graduation. 100% of students in the sciences complete their own independent research. Students have access to labs. They have access to creative spaces, things like that, that they might not at larger institutions. I like to look at these titles because I know that a lot of these research projects were conceived just through conversations with each other, with other students, with faculty members, maybe because somebody read an article and shared it with another friend and that got passed down and that's where the project came from. They're very independent. As you can see, number one is a theater production, very much a creative piece, all the way down to number six, which incorporates a number of disciplines in its research. Internships and community service. Just a few examples of some recent internships and some recent student service projects. You can kind of see that these happen all over the place. And some happen close to home, right? Number three is right here in Galesburg, and some happen on the other side of the world. Number five is in Phnom Penh in Cambodia. So it really depends on the individual student and where their journey takes them. Knock students 
are very altruistic folks. Knox students, Knox alumni like to give back, whether to the Galesburg community, whether to their communities back home, to their global community. A lot of Knox students will engage in service projects while they're students here. And there are a lot of different kinds of service projects to be engaged with. A lot of Knox students also do internships. Our Career Center is fantastic. They work very closely with alumni, they work very closely with local businesses and with businesses and employers and different folks all over the world, right, to match Knox students up with different opportunities. Study abroad or study off campus in the US. We have over 80 different study abroad or off-campus study programs. So whether that's here in the United States or around the world, there are lots of opportunities to choose from. Where will you go? These are just a few examples. There are lots and lots and lots more. Bren Tooley, who works in our Center for Global Study, is unlike anyone I've ever met. She's got so much energy and so much passion for study abroad. She will help you find a spot that will make sense. Our students also take advantage of opportunities maybe that are unique to them. So there's opportunities for our students to self-initiate study abroad on campus. Many students go abroad for a full year. Some students go abroad for a term. Some students go abroad for a shorter amount of time because they need to go abroad for research or travel someplace domestically for research or to present research at a conference. Wherever you need to go for your study abroad, we can find a way to make that work. Immersion terms are really unique to Knox and the Knox experience. These are terms wherein students, instead of taking those typical three classes, will just do one thing. Immersion terms are designed with three classes in mind to work together to create an immersive experience here on campus. Each of these is a little bit different and they happen at different times as well. So a few examples here on the board, clinical psychology term, Students live as clinical psychologists. They do an on-the-ground internship and they know by the end of it if counseling is for them or not. Green Oaks term, students live at Knox's biological field station, Green Oaks. They do some environmental stewardship work. They talk a little bit about sociology and what it's like to live in the woods. Japan term is a quick start Japanese language and culture course that does go to Japan. Open Studio is truly an opportunity for art students to live like professional artists. They have studio space of their own. They work to put together a portfolio to get into that professional world. Repertory theater term is an immersive theater term wherein students put on two productions in nine weeks, two major productions. And startup term is a little bit like Shark Tank. Students basically start up small businesses. They have office space in town. They go to that office space every day. They deal with intellectual property law. They deal with coding. They deal with advertising, things like that. And at the end of the day, they have a small business. Each is a great opportunity to get a hands-on experience in an area of your interest. And we understand that a lot of these opportunities that we just talked about may have additional costs associated with them. Typically, the college awards about $350,000 per year to support student projects, right? Funding for student internships, for students who need to live someplace while they're doing an internship or a job shadow, for students who are going abroad, for students who need resources, who need actual materials for projects, things like that. We offer a Power of Experience grant, which is guaranteed to every single one of our Knox students. And it's a wonderful opportunity for every single student at Knox to take advantage of, to use their junior or senior year in order to facilitate some kind of hands-on experiential learning based opportunity. Clubs and activities. I am sure that you will want to be a part of clubs and join some activities as a student in college. We have 1,200 students here on campus and over 100 student organizations. Our students are highly active within their college community and the Galesburg community as well. You can go to any club's webpage and view who the student president of that club is. You can get in contact with them. You can understand what their club is all about. Many of those clubs also have links to different videos and things of their club's activities. This list is by no means exhaustive, but you can get a sense of what our students are up to in their free time. We are the Knox College Prairie Fire. The Department of Athletics provides students an opportunity to obtain knowledge, physical development, and life skills. Whether it is varsity athletics, club sports, or intramurals, we encourage participation by all of our students. For our varsity sports, Knox is NCAA Division III, and we're a member of the Midwest Conference. As members of the Midwest Conference, we compete against teams from Illinois, Iowa, and Wisconsin. But we've had our teams compete in tournaments on both coasts, as well as some international travel. Some highlights for the Prairie Fire Athletics teams include 
122 Midwest Conference Academic All-Conference Performers, 6 NCAA All-Region Performances, 2 Team NCAA Appearances, and 2 Team Midwest Conference Tournament Champions. Our student-athletes participated in over 25 events, spearheading more than 1,200 hours of community service. This is Human Power. One last nod, our mascot, Blaze, who is named by our students, is actively cheering and dancing at most of our home competitions. And Blaze isn't just for athletics. Sometimes he's even at our campus visit days. And that's the athletic experience at Knox as well. Folks show up to games, they come to events, they'll come to your club meetings, they'll be there to support you. If you haven't been to Galesburg before, we'd love to welcome you. We're a city of 33,000 people. We're very much a place with roots. So Knox and Galesburg were actually founded at the same time by the same folks. There's a lot of really good food in Galesburg. We have a lot of local spots that you can walk to, places like Baked Pizza, a student favorite. My favorite is Coriana. I also like Jalisco's. I like most of the food in Galesburg. We have over 30 restaurants available within walking distance of our campus. We're well connected to other places by Amtrak, which is about a seven minute walk from our campus. And lastly, and most importantly, we're an incredible opportunity. Our students get involved, as you've already seen, through community service, through internships, through research opportunities in our community. And our professors do an amazing job of engaging the Galesburg community within the Knox experience. Knox. You might go to graduate school. Knox is among the top 4% of liberal arts colleges in producing successful PhD candidates. Join the Peace Corps. I'm totally biased. That's one of the choices that I made, but I'm not alone in that. We have a lot of Knox alums who are also Peace Corps volunteers. Go to medical school. We have an early admission program with George Washington University and an 80% acceptance rate to medical school across our campus. For our students with a 3.5 GPA or higher at Knox, we have 100% acceptance rate to medical school. So it's proof if you put in the work while you're here, we can do a great job of preparing you to get there. You can do anything. These are all real examples of things that Knox students have gone on to do. My friend Marnie writes about candy as a professional. She's the editor of The Takeout Online, and she writes really good articles about candy. We've had alums who've become reporters, filmmakers, basic, the computer language of the 50s was invented by a Knox alum, run a large corporation, be a White House staffer, go to law school. We have a 90% acceptance rate to law school as well. And lastly, you don't have to take just our word for it. We've got some other accolades up here as well, including that we are one of the 40 colleges that change lives. We've been listed in the Washington Monthly as number 34 in the country for schools doing the most to serve the public good and in the New York Times for schools doing the most to promote the American dream. Knox is also on Forbes's Grateful Grads list. It's a wonderful list of colleges. If you ever wanted to find a list of colleges that folks are glad they went to, the Grateful Grads list is for you. Let's talk about how we look at your application. First, we are going to look at you as a set of data. So I'll give you a few of Knox's stats just to make it fair. Over the last three years, about 67% of applicants have been offered admission to Knox. The average unweighted GPA on a 4.0 scale was about a 3.5. And the middle 50% of our students score between a 24 and a 31 on the ACT and a 1090 and a 1350 on the SAT. That being said, we're also test optional. So you can move through our application process without test scores at all, and we won't consider your application any differently. But if you choose to enroll at Knox, we'll ask you for test scores on the back end so our statistics are accurate. 
We also look at you as humans. We couldn't say human powered if we didn't. So what does that look like? Of course, we're going to look at classes, scores, things like that. How are you doing in school? But we also want to know who you are as a person. And that's what makes Knox an interesting place. The best part of our job is getting to know what kinds of activities that you really enjoy, whether they are school related or outside of school. We will read your recommendation letters. We will read your essays. An interview is totally optional, but it's something that we definitely enjoy taking the opportunity to have. We've got a couple different application options. The first is early decision. So if you know 100% you wanna be here, early decision is the right choice for you. Deadline is November 1st, and we'll let you know if you're admitted by November 15th. Early action one and two are great options for students who wanna apply early but don't necessarily know 100% where they want to go yet. So you can apply November and December, find out about six weeks later if you've been admitted. And regular decision, students apply by January 15th, you'll have a decision by March 15th. No matter when you apply, no matter which of these deadlines you choose, you'll be considered for the same volume of scholarship to attend Knox. Okay, let's talk about making Knox affordable. First, merit-based scholarships. When we're looking at scholarships, we're looking at the same sorts of things we're looking at through the application process. What makes you a good student, right? Are you taking challenging coursework? How are you doing in that challenging coursework? Do you love to learn? But we also really value, again, what just makes you tick as a person. And that's what we call your Knox factor. All of your special talents and personal qualities and things that you've achieved even beyond the classroom. We really value you as the complex person that you are and we aim to recognize that through our merit-based scholarships. Okay, so what does that look like? This chart should give you a little bit of an idea of what your scholarship at Knox might look like. So we've got it anchored by GPA and test score. Keep in mind that's not part of the pie for everyone. And then a range associated with those scholarship awards. And then within the range on the right hand side of the screen, ultimately what moves you up that range again is have you sought a challenge within what's available to you? What are all those other things that, that really make you tick? Have you taken advantage of leadership opportunities or community service opportunities? We get really excited about that kind of stuff. Need-based financial aid, that's another big piece of the puzzle in terms of affording Knox and paying for Knox. Let me tell you about the applicants for financial aid in 2019. About 92% of students applied for financial aid. About 84% received need-based financial aid. And almost everybody got something. So if you are concerned about the cost of college, apply for financial aid. You don't know exactly how much it will cost you until you do apply, go through that financial aid process, work with that admission office, and try to make it possible for yourself. In terms of what that could look like for you and your family, we've got a list broken down by income on the left-hand side of the screen, and then the average award and range of awards that students can receive. This chart is on the web. You can also find Knox's total cost of attendance on the web. In the fall of 2019, that 58,236 in the top right, that was our overall cost of attendance. So room, board, tuition, and fees. Knox also has a net price calculator. You'll be able to find a net price calculator on almost every college website in the country. Knox's net price calculator should give you a pretty close estimate of what Knox might cost your family. So just a reminder, some good dates to know. We've got our application deadlines in the fall and then one in January. Notifications about admission, when to complete your application for financial aid, and when to submit your enrollment deposit. A quick reminder that if you do choose to submit portfolios for things like art scholarships, music scholarships, theater writing scholarships, those are due at the same time as your application for admission. So if you do apply to Knox under a November 1st deadline, we'll be looking for those things on November 1st. You don't need to make a decision on Knox until May 1st unless you apply early decision. So ways to think about the value of a Knox education. We are an education that is incredibly adaptable from the opportunities to self-design a major or minor on campus, to initiate your own research, and really to, to cultivate your Knox experience in a way that is ultimately meaningful for you as an individual. It's an education that works. You cannot make it through four years at Knox and just sit in a classroom. You have to get out there and do things. We accomplish that through experiential learning as a requirement on campus, but it's also built into our curriculum throughout our educational experience. And when you go to an employer or to a graduate program or to your next step after Knox, you will have hard evidence that you are able to do the thing that you want to do. And lastly, it's an education with power. Our students come from all over the world 
from all different backgrounds and experiences. They bring with them different perspectives and ideas. And ultimately, that is really what is enriching about a Knox experience on our campus. And that's a source of our, our human power. Knox students are folks who are bright, who are critical thinkers, who are able to be innovative in their fields and creative throughout their lives. What makes you the person that you are? What defines you growing up as a person, and how did you get here to this moment? I've loved the community. You always agreed with smiles. Everybody's super unique here. I got to Knox and I realized that people weren't really judging me for my ideas and my opinions. I became more at ease with being in my own skin and being able to express myself and articulate my ideas. All the people I've met with my friends and my teachers who just come with different backgrounds and different experiences and perspectives have changed the way I look at the world. I love the freedom. Breaking out and trying something new and challenging. I started going out of my way to do things that I didn't think I could typically do. I became an RA, I became a writing tutor, I'm a Red Room captain. I joined clubs that I never thought I was going to be in. I've changed a lot. I have changed a whole lot. I love all the opportunities available to me. I'm a chemistry major, mathematics minor, member of chem club. I also play in two ensembles. I wanted to explore. I wanted to see what my passion was. And then I took an international relations class. It changed my life. I went in to a foreign country not knowing anybody who is in the program, not knowing the language, having a fantastic time just throwing myself in there, meeting all these new people and learning all these amazing things. I love doing new reactions. I love creating new chemicals, new compounds. One of the greatest things about Knox is that it's afforded me these opportunities to study abroad, to do these internships and get paid for them, to do an honors project. That's really kind of shaped who I am now. Oh, there's inherent greatness in everyone. Just got to keep looking up. A few more ways to connect with Knox virtually. You can talk with a current student. There's a chat feature on Knox's website. There's a student behind that. You can also choose to talk with a student uh, on one of our web pages where it says, talk with a current student. You can click on them and send them an email or a message. They will get back to you. You can also choose to talk with one of our admission counselors here in the office. So find out who your admission counselor is and schedule a time to chat. You can follow Knox on Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, and Instagram. You can also explore Knox's website, including information about academic programs and outcomes, watch a few of our Knox made films. Knox's entire course catalog is in PDF form on our website. Or you can take a virtual tour of campus. Head to knox.edu slash admission slash virtual tour. Take a look at some of our buildings. You'll see videos, you'll see panoramas, you'll see all sorts of different spaces on campus. I particularly like Knox's library, but check out a little bit of everything. Let's take that tour.